Once upon a time, there was a young buccaneer from the village of Matlot on Trinidad's northeast coast. He decided one day to take a walk through the beautiful rainforest to see what wonders there were to discover. Traveling west, he reached Blanchichelles, a scenic village named after the French word for washerwoman, because the foaming surf of the ocean in the brilliant sunshine looks like iridescent soap suds, bringing to mind the beautiful women who washed their clothes in the river in days of old. Seeing the washerwoman, the young man fell instantly in love. Today, there's so much more in Blanchichelles to fall in love with, as many people are discovering. The wild coastal landscape of Blanchichelles, where waves splash majestically along cliffs, blends slowly into luxurious private cottages, guest houses, eco lodges, and restaurants, where the ocean lovingly embraces sandy shores. Mr. Owen Charles is a true Blanchichelles man, having born and grown here, as we see. He is regarded as a village elder. Um, the place is quiet, nice scenery and nobody to worry. So when a boy takes his girl, he can walk up the road freely or walk down either way and nobody to worry, you know, about the trouble you. Yeah. So that, I think all that makes Blanchard says a very romantic as place to come so you have nobody to worry, you, you're free. Because of utilities, you find plenty um, new buildings going up. And because of the utilities, I say that everybody's coming in because you have water, you have electricity, you have telephones. So you have mostly all utilities, right? It helps a lot. It can more or less in bringing in people to our community. Because what they say now, when you have it with these facilities, you come near the port, it's not far again. The furthest point of Blanchichelles is defined by the Marianne Suspension Bridge, which is a century old. This quaint swing bridge crosses the Marianne River just before it enters the Caribbean Sea, representing the western end of the north coast. If you go upriver along the Marianne for about 20 minutes, you will come to the Marianne Pools, also known as Three Pools. There are trails on both banks, though you may have to wade through the river at certain points. The natural succession of these pools is magnificent, emptying turquoise water into one another at a thundering rate. After such an exhilarating swim, everyone wants to eat, and Coco's Hut restaurant in the Laguna Mar Beach Resort in Nature Lodge is a great place to grab something sumptuous. Located at 65 and a half mile marker on the Pariamine Road, Laguna Mar has been remodeled from a 72-year-old Coco house. Blanchichelles village includes the fishing co-op and a Roman Catholic church, a historic landmark of the area. Two bells that were given to Trinidad by England and France hang outside the chapel, with inscriptions on each identifying its origin. The Rima Blanchichelles road is an attraction in its own right. The winding drive takes you through scenic mountain passes, from which there are impressive views. From the Las Lapas lookout, you can see one majestic side of the northern range. There are other awe-inspiring sites such as the Brasso Seco Valley and Mont Bleu, the fifth highest peak in Trinidad. These rolling hills cradle the Azerite Nature Center, a beautiful 24-room lodge nestled in the lush rainforest of Trinidad's northern range. The center opened to the public in 1967 with a dream to protect part of the Arima Valley and create a conservation and study area relating to tropical wildlife. Today, the internationally acclaimed center is a 730-acre conservation area and wildlife sanctuary, which boasts the most accessible colony of oil birds in the entire world. Along the Arima Blanchichez Road at the village of Avocat, there is a dirt road leading to the Grand Ford River. Along the river's path, there are many inviting bathing pools, the most alluring of which is about half an hour downriver, where a large, deep swimming pool marks the merging of Grand Fond with the Marianne, and the bordering foliage parts upstream to reveal a jewel of a waterfall. Imperial-looking blue emperor butterflies flit peacefully across this most surreal landscape as the sun squeezes through the abundant foliage and flirts with the streaming water, shining with silver splendor. Our story continues. The buccaneer and his washerwoman traveled on together to Las Cuevas, Spanish for the caves, where they showed their love for each other. On the way, they passed an enchanting settlement, but continued along their journey. 
knowing that they were not yet prepared to deal with that village's treasures. Sea caves pocket the coastline of Las Cuevas and are interesting geological entities, though care must be taken at high tide. These are located at the base of Fort Abercrombie, an old military bastion built around 1797 by Governor Sir Thomas Picton. Two guns that were part of the site in 1928 are still here today. The fort is now a historical park, developed by the Civilian Conservation Corps in conjunction with local residents and TIDCO. Altacuch, the second highest mountain peak in the island at a height of 3,072 feet, looms majestically over the fort at such an angle that the summit appears to be tilted and about to fall. Another prominent landmark located a short distance from the fort is Las Cuevas Beach Facility, which is also maintained by TITCO. Another delightful point of interest in this area is El Toro Waterfall located on private lands. It is one of the most picturesque waterfalls in the country, so named because of the thundering noise it would make, like a bull charging towards a matador. El Toro looks from a great height upon a deep clear pool which can be accessed via a demanding mountain hike through serene forests. The happy couple continued along the north coast to Maracas Beach. Maracas, Spanish for shack shack, brings to mind romantic images of the buccaneer on the beach, singing songs of love to his washerwoman. A perfect place to celebrate love is the Maracas Bay Hotel, located on the crescent-shaped shores of one of the island's most popular beaches. If, however, romance is not on your mind, Maracas is also fun-filled. From sunbathing to the traditional trini lime with a good bacon shark, the food that the beach vendors are best known for, Maracas is the place to be. The length of beach is patrolled by lifeguards and there are convenient parking facilities available. Employment has been one of the greatest upliftment this village has gotten from this facility. The Tedco has a car park there that they have employed a lot of people from the area. They have the maintenance crew which is from the area. They take from all of the people that work in Maracas on this facility is based is, is from mainly the North Coast area. We have actually we have there's a pavilion that has been rented out here mm -hmm. and they have employed, they have they have created some employment themselves by employing just people from the North Coast. Security guards, the security firm came in and they employed people from the North Coast. We have no we don't really have anybody much from the outside working in the North Coast. The beach has always been um, the main way, main livelihood for the people, be it fishing, be it vending, be it vending uh, the well-known bacon shop or their garden produce. Maracas can definitely be a hub of activity. So if you want to enjoy beaches that offer a more tranquil atmosphere, try Tyrico Bay or Damier Beach, both within a stone's throw of Maracas. Tyrico is a beautiful stretch of white sand beach that welcomes the Caribbean sun while Damier is more sheltered. Leisurely swims, swaying coconut trees, all wonderful backdrops for our ongoing love story. The Neg Maron, patois for Creole man, needed to earn a living, so they left for a place called Paramé. There, the washerwoman learned to season a pot and became renowned for her sweet hand. Even today, Paramin is the seasoning basket of Trinidad. Paramin Women's Group, which makes homemade seasoning, pepper sauce, and mixed essences, is now a household name to most Trinidadians who use these products to get that special flavor in their cooking. Everybody in the community benefits one way or another by planting the raw materials for us because everybody plants some kind of raw material in Paramin whether it's the scythe or the broadleaf or the shadow benny, whatever. So we ask the community to plant and we are going to buy it so that we are going to be creating some sort of employment for the community of Paramin. Uh, even the school children, we recycle bottles and we ask them to pick up the bottles, whether it's ketchup or whatever kind they can collect, and they help to make school money. So we help one way or the other in the community. Paramin also has some other wonders nestled in its hills, one of which is the Coliseum, 
a dome-shaped cave, one of several in the area, said to have been the hideout of slaves before emancipation. Paramin is also a bustle of activity at Christmas time, since the village is reputed for hosting its annual Parang festival, a tradition meant to welcome the Yuletide season with song, laughter and fun. Hundreds of people flock up the steep, narrow slopes of Parmen every second week in December, just to take part in this growing attraction. Parmen is so hilly that you'd never think you could possibly climb higher, but you can. Shodo is beyond Parmen, more than 2,000 feet above sea level. The name means leaping water, and from this height, you feel like you're on Jacob's ladder, reaching towards heaven. Clara and Eddie Felix are Shodo's own fairy tale. Married for as long as they can remember, they are one of the oldest families in the area and have 22 children, most of whom still live between Shodo and Paramin. They grow seasoning in their hilly backyard and chat to each other in Patois, a dying language born of the French that was spoken by the 16th and 17th century settlers and the African dialect of their slaves. Much of Trinidad's oral tradition is rooted in Patwa. Which means, well, trouble make monkey eat pepper. The beauty of Paramin captured the young man's heart and inspired him to propose to his washerwoman. He walked hand in hand with her from the hills of Paramin into Maraval, meaning palm. The story goes that they were married in this Catholic church. The church proudly overlooks Busy Saddle Road, yet reflects the sanctity of the Paramin Hills, which stand directly opposite to the building's facade. The washerwoman soon discovered she was with child. The titillating views of the coastline from atop the North Coast Road, where she told her lover the good news, could not express their joy as they gasped at the headland of La Filette which resembles a pregnant woman lying on her back. They were now ready for the little girl, La Filette, to come into their lives. La Filette is a village pregnant with potential. A typical coastal fishing town, the region boasts of charming spots like Yara Beach and River, as well as mystical caves. It's an area ripe for tourism development. La Filette is a unique community within the North Coast because it offers a lot of tourism development in a different sense to Blanchishers and Las Cuevas. There will be scope for the young men who are versed in the sea to take, to take people who love marine ecology. It's, the, the, it's enormous, this, this part of the North Coast. The, the school, yeah. uh, just six months ago, universities from America asked me when I am ready, when, when we'll be ready to take students, what they call, what everybody talk about sun, sea, tourism. I want, I, I want to explore educational tourism. We are people and a community which realize that unity is strength and we unify ourselves so that we can get tourism development. In La Filette, there are courses through TITCO and other agencies preparing the people for tourism. There are courses in catering, there is also in hotel management, so that when tourism development comes on the North Coast, we of the people are ready. If there is any development agencies, even government and other private agencies, is welcome to do any project within La Filette and they will get the full support of the community. Our young couple was now linked by the birth of their child, who, like all infants, needed milk, represented by La Vache Point, French for cow. The beauty of the North Coast, from Blanchichers to Paramin, seems to inspire love. The moral of the story? Visit the North Coast. You too will fall in love. If you would like to discover the trails and traditions of Blanchichers to Paramin, you could stay at any of these guest houses on your journey.
To get there, use your Rima Blanchichez Road to Blanchichez. Then go west along the North Coast Road, passing Maracas Bay to Saddle Road. Take the Moncoco Road through to Shodo Road, and then up into Paramount. 